Today we ask the age-old question, will it Oreo? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Happiness. As a baby, it's the feeling of a clean diaper. And as an adult, it's some f***ing peace and quiet. But one little ray of sunshine that is never dimmed through all of the years is the happiness of cracking open a fresh package of Oreos. Not a sponsor, yet. So we thought, let's bust through that vanilla cream ceiling and see just how far we can go on that happiness meter. But will these Oreos truly make us happier or just make us feel crappier? It's time for Well, well It Oreo. Oreos are deceptively complex. They may look like a couple of cookies around a layer of vanilla cream, but they have an undeniable magic that you just can't put your finger on. Ooh. That is, until now, because mythical chef Josh is putting his filthy little fingers all up in some Oreos and pulling out a few little miracles. Okay, first, we're appealing to the youths. You on your skateboard with your cool whatever attitude and those funnies you stole from 7-Eleven. We know you depend on your bang energy drink to help you get through your late night graffiti sessions, so, we took your Bang Energy drink and made this. Bang Oreos, or Bangios, as we're calling them. Love Look at this packaging. Is. So we got some blue raspberry Bang infused Oreos and, whoa, take, can, hand me one of those. What, you don't want, I just, you know, I'll get my own. You know, I touch my own. Never Look know what's going around. <laughs> Look at that. That looks good, Josh. Okay, so I've seen this on the shelves. You got an but Oreo and. I, I haven't partook in them. Mm. Uh, you enjoy this bang stuff? I do. As a fellow youth, I enjoy drinking <laughs> bang energy to give it gives me the energy I need to stay it off has drugs. Four times the caffeine of a of a Red Bull and four times the fun and creatine, which what? is just ridiculous. Why do you do this? Why do you bang? Uh, well, <laughs> my personal bang testimonial uh, it, it gets me all hyped up for uh, my late night graffiti sessions. Okay. And what is this milk that we have as a dipping option here? It's blue. Oh, okay. It's just blue. It's just blue. It's just blue. There's no bang in the milk. It no. smells like paint. Oh yeah, you guys put a lot of food coloring in there. <laughs> yeah, it it literally blue. smells like All right. latex. So we got a dip, then we got a dink. Dip, then dink, then sink. Okay. Is this, whew. Dip it, hold it. Dip Every it, good Oreo it. needs to be held for a second. Dink it, sink it. Oh man, look at. Look at what happened to my, I got a little sheet of icing coming out. It's still blue on the inside. No mm. surprise there. That's pretty banging. I feel like my muscles are retaining more moisture and getting larger. I feel like I'm getting a, uh, a kick from the caffeine. And I like the raspberry taste. I don't taste. think you can actually, I mean, that's psychosomatic. Imme man. Immediate. You can't immediately it's immediate. feel it. It's the idea. It's immediate. It's the, the idea of the bang is enough to get the bang going. Mm. Look at um, all these bouncing off the Wallios. Eat enough of them. Um, I like it. It's not bad. It's got a little tang. There's a little tang in mm -hmm. the bang. Yeah, a little which tang is, in the bang, which is totally new to the world of Oreos. So I think this is fabulous. Do you agree? Yes. So bang energy drink. Will it Oreo? Yes. yes. Choosing the perfect nacho takes strategy. You don't want to be the jerk who takes the chip with the most cheese, but at the same time, you don't want to pull out a weak, naked chip either. So hopefully our next Oreo fixes that problem. Chock full of pizzazz and none of the stress. These are nachorios. <laughs> Sometimes it works out. Nacho. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes there's a no. Nacho Oreos. Uh, and this. we've also got hot sauce milk for Let, dipping. Let's, oh, hot sauce milk? Uh -huh. Let's reveal this thing. Woo wee. We got green. We got takey. We got cheese. Is it, now, how did you get these to be green? Is that guac? Wait, whose Oreos are they? Nacho Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> got them. I know, so it's a guacamole cookie base with a pinto bean cheese and salsa cream. Did you say pinto bean? Look oh, at that. I said pinto bean. I see a bean right there. I see a couple of beans. Do you know that the ancient Greeks did not eat beans because they thought they contained the souls of dead people? Don't answer that. I learned that from my 11 year old last night. You can learn a lot I from said, your 11 year old. I said, son, that's not true. All right, so let's take a bite before we dip and then a second bite. So we're dinking it, we're sinking it. Yeah. There's a lot of cheese squeeze that happens, which I'm not complaining about. So what's in the cookie? Uh, so Guacamole. It's, oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. And then cheese, man, like a bean and cheese dip in the mm. middle. 
It's still sweet That's already like a cookie, good. but it's very guacky, very oh. cheesy. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's dip. You don't like it? After all, after all this time, <laughs> everything that we've had, this is crazy. Well, because <laughs> it's it's good. It's really good. I'm enjoying it's it. It's really good. And then if you make it hot with a with milk, this is just this is otherworldly. Nobody else on earth is doing this. We're privileged. Oh, it gets better with the hot sauce milk. Ooh, and it, it was don't. already good. Mm. That's, who knew you could you could dip nacho in milk and it'd be even better? Wow, Josh. I can taste the beans. And me likey. I want everyone on earth to be able to taste this. This is now my dream for society. Don't make promises that we cannot fulfill. I think we've only made four. Mm, that's true. But nachos, will it Oreo? Yes! yes. If you want to see Josh make another delicious Oreo creation, head on over to the Mythical Kitchen where he's cooking up Oreo biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy? Yeah. Mythical Kitchen, check it out. But right now, it's your favorite neighborhood slash worldwide pizza joint coming to the desk. Will this one make us say, Domino, no, you didn't make a pizza into an Oreo? <laughs> Let's find out. Domino, no, 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 <laughs> you Domino, no, you didn't. Uh, here Domino's we go. Pizza Oreos. Whoop it, you. Josh, what's in these things? So the cookie is the signature Domino's garlic butter crust, then inside we have pepperoni, pizza sauce, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And the the detailing on the outside, it's, it, you just nailed the Oreo. Did you go to the Oreo place and steal the mold? Yeah. And do should we not admit that on camera? Yeah, for legal reasons I'm not allowed to say, but I am not allowed back to the Nabisco factory. Okay, got it. Oh, uh, Link, we got ranch milk for dipping, and that just sounds like something we should talk about. <laughs> tastes, tastes like a freaking pizza bite, or smells like it. I, I've like rubbed my face. You've gotten pretty close to your nose. So uh, like, we're, we're, yeah, you know, the world we live in now. Oh man, what does this taste just like? But better. It tastes like a Tostino pizza bite, but cookier. It tastes like a pizza bite, exactly. And, but mm. crispier. Mm -hmm. But you know what they don't have? You know what Totino's has never even thought about? Ranch milk. What is that that t settles at the top of ranch milk? That's all the fresh herbs. We did make our ranch milk from scratch. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm oh. A, everything that I've tasted this, this morning. This is crazy. I like better than a normal Oreo. I, this is the first time this has ever happened. On a Will It episode. This now, is my favorite one. It's getting better every time. I, I've been honest and said that I'm not a huge fan of Oreos. I don't hate them, but I don't go for them. But these right here, these savory Oreos are my go jam. Go for them. I go for these, man. This is fabulous. Um, yeah, and every round has gotten better, but something tells me that that streak is going to end at some point. But Domino's, Will It Oreo? Yes. All right, this one's for y'all on the college diet, which of course consists of only one thing. Instant ramen, uh -huh. but we've greatly expanded your options to one more option. <laughs> Introducing instant ramen Oreos or Dormios. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, if we look at these things here, whoop whoop beep. Take whoop, one of whoop, those. Beep. So Josh, what is this? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the noodles Gosh. have been made into a cookie. The noodles sure have been made into a yep. cookie, and then the cream inside is simply the seasoning packet. It's a real minimalist. Simply seasoning. Simply seasoning. And we've got MSG milk. Yes. <laughs> what, what, is, what is MSG? It's a seasoning. Mono sodium glutamate. Nailed it. Right? But they don't. Ha! But Every once in a while I get something right. Should we be dipping in it? Because they brag about it not being in things. Yeah, no, MSG is uh, perfectly delicious and healthy in moderation. Um, that milk is not in moderation. Look how much squeeze factor I get. And I like that better than normal Oreo. You squeeze normal Oreo, not much happens. Now, when I was in college, I would eat, my diet was so bad, mm. my, my decisions were bad. Like the time I bought approximately a dozen Big Macs for a quarter each because it was on special and placed them all in the freezer and slowly ate them throughout the week. Warmed up in the microwave yeah. and enjoyed uh every second of it. It made our room smell amazing. Um, these are salty. So I'm trying to go back, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to go back to that place where I would have appreciated this le level of sodium. Woo! You know what, let's just dip into some MSG milk. <laughs> That'll help. Let's see if that gets any better. The MSG might have turned the milk to cheese. 
We're not quite sure. <laughs> is that how cheese is made? It's chunkier than most milks. Chunky milk. Well, it's warm. I like that. At least it's warm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is I a think week. I would have got to be this. a week's worth of sodium. I think I would have loved this. You need the sodium when you're in college for the, for your brain. Okay. You got to study. You got to think. You don't want a sodium deficiency oh. at that age. I just don't. I can't it say it's for me now. This just tastes like a salt cookie. I mean, if I were a deer in the woods and I came upon this, I'd probably lick it to death. But here in the in the non deer world, I, I'm against. I've this seen I've seen endeavor. deer around here. Maybe we'll set these two out and lure some deer. Okay, we can do that. How about that? We won't shoot okay. them though. We'll take pictures of them. Make a venison Oreo. Because this is Los Angeles. Yeah. Why are you on your phone? Too. We're working over here. <laughs> I have friends. I look over there, Josh. Like, are you researching something? Yeah. Have okay. some venison in an Oreo. You're welcome. Instant ramen. Will it Oreo? No. no. At this point, we've exhausted all the land and it's time to travel to the sea, yeah. right? So for this last round, please don't sue us for what you're about to she. <laughs> it's sushi Oreos. Ah, sushi. Look at this. You want a sashimi eat this Oreo? <laughs> Look at this. Okay, is that real raw? Raw? Fish? Raw? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's raw it's, with an L on the end. Raw ahi tuna inside, but then also a, a little bit of artificial crab, uh, and then a seaweed cookie on the outside. Oh my! This is not something that the linkster. You're not excited about this? Signs up for. Hey, I, I put this on my Twitter, but I know you don't pay attention to my Twitter. <coughs> but I saw a woman in Los Angeles offer her child one hundred dollars to finish the sushi on his plate. And he did. Hundred dollars? Yeah. Is that the is that the kind of is that is that the kind of how motivation much, that you need? How much will you give me to eat this whole thing? I'll give you a hundred high fives. Which is technically five hundred fingers. <laughs> the value. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, Hold on. That cookie is good, man. A seaweed cookie? Yeah. I don't That's even, a seaweed cookie? I've started eating sushi, but I don't, I eat it with soy paper. Um, maybe if we dip it in soy milk, that'll help. Is that what this is? Yes, it is. That is soy sauce milk. Oh, soy sauce nice. milk, yeah. not soy milk. Um, Semantics. Why is it so dark? <laughs> why does it look like goblin blood? <laughs> did, you, did, you add, did you add a little? It's artificial goblin blood, and okay. you can't get the real stuff anymore. This is not It's horrible. not bad at all, is it? I like, like it. I kept waiting for the for the shock. It's I'm, good. I'm actually cool with it. Yeah, the uh, the seaweed flavor isn't too strong. The, the, the sweetness of the cookie kind of helps. Let's dip it in goblin blood. So this is gonna make it really salty, am I right? I mean, you don't want. <clears throat> still good. We're still good. <laughs> <laughs> We're still good. I, I really like it. It's weird. This Usually this doesn't happen. I know. When we get to these funky rounds. I keep trying to convince myself that I hate it. But why should I do that for once? For once, you should love it, Link. I do. I give you 105 fives. <laughs> for now, when I go to a sushi <laughs> restaurant with my family, because they love sushi, but like, uh, could, could I have it in Oreo form? Uh, uh, no, sir, please I'm leave. willing to wait. Okay, so surprise, surprise, wow. sushi, will it Oreo? Yes, yes it will. Man, we good. almost had a queen sweep, except for that ramen. Way to go, Josh, way to go, entire team. I mean, the, the packaging has looked great on all this stuff. You, you've made me like sushi and cookie form. Hmm. Here, I'll let you dig that out later. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Oh, and remember, Mythical Kitchen's got that biscuits and gravy Oreo recipe, so go check that out. You know what time it is. We're the St. Cyr brothers from Manchester, New Hampshire, and we just made animal style in and out mac and cheese. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. That one brother's clean shaven. Yeah, get with the program. Click the top link to watch us try gummy Oreos and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. You can see this kind of coming together into a mass, but you still see a lot of the butter chunks. You gotta roll out your biscuits now, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna shake off the biscuit dough from your hands, but pretend like it's just hand gestures. <laughs>